Thank you. Um, my next question to you is, why should you be the next Miss Universe Thailand 2021? I'm ready. I think I bring a fresh perspective and I will never stray from authenticity and my message. And it's time to break barriers. It's time to have young girls and younger generations have representations of someone they can relate to on a global stage because the effect it will have will be nothing but positive. So I, I think I should be the next Miss Universe Thailand because I'm ready to challenge the norm. I'm ready to be a voice for our younger generations and I'm ready to represent our younger generations. I absolutely agree with you. You should be the winner. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, I will be giving you a few uh, a words, some words that I need to, I wish to ask your thoughts on. Let's begin with the first word or first phrase, body positivity. What are your thoughts on it? Body positivity is about embracing your body and understanding that your body allows you to do a lot of things that are capable. You know, you can work out, you can go buy food, you can move around and do everything in your daily life. But I also think what's really important to point out about body positivity is you can be positive about your body, but what always has to come first is your health. I don't want the wrong message to be spread in the sense where if your health is being jeopardized, you can love yourself, but you're loving yourself by doing something to save your health. All right, thank you. Next is beauty standards. What are your thoughts on beauty standards? My thoughts on beauty standards is that it's changing all the time. So why are we conforming to them? These beauty standards are constructed and they don't actually represent the majority of the people in the world. Therefore, it's not reality. Therefore, it shouldn't be a standard. So I think beauty standards should be defined by you and it should be about who you are, what you're capable of, and it should be inner beauty much rather than outer beauty because that's not what keeps the world going. All right. Thank you. Next would be bullying. What are your thoughts on bullying? Bullying is unfortunately something I think a lot of younger people tend to experience in school. But we need to understand that we have to respect one another. We're allowed to express our opinion, but don't express it if you have nothing productive to say. And if it's criticism with no purpose constructive criticism is different bullying i think goes into really the human psychology of perhaps insecurities or whatever other foundations it may be so i i don't condone it and i think you need to learn to respect one another okay terrific thank you next would be lockdowns We've all gone through it and we all know how tough it is and some people have had it tougher than others. But, you know, I think we have really seen how resilient the human race is in general with lockdowns, how we've able to rise above it and find what I've mentioned before, adaptability, to be able to interact with each other in other ways. And we've also seen the power of technology to make us feel connected when we're apart. So... In such a tough time like this, we have to look for positives. We have to look for the light and the ability for humans to adapt and connect in other ways is a silver lining of lockdowns. Thank you. Moving on is face mask. Face, oh, masks. Yes, face masks. They save lives. They protect you and they protect the people around you. Wear a face mask. Simple. All right. How about vaccine? Vaccine hesitancy? I, I want to break into two groups more so. One where it's you're hesitant because it's a new vaccine 
and you may view it as being it being rushed out and you're just unsure of perhaps the new technology for example the you know modernas and Pfizer's because they do, they are using new technologies but remind yourself that it's produced to protect you it's produced so we can gracefully exit this pandemic and enter our new normal and then there's other vaccine hesitancy where it's caused through the misspread of information social media has really shown that anyone can share information and it might not be credible so i think that goes into your social responsibility that you have to your community yourself and even the world to be responsible enough to not share information that you know is wrong and causes fear and in the long run actually causes more harm than good. Right, thank you. I really like the fact that you differentiated um, your thoughts about it. So thank you for, for establishing clarity. My next question to you is um, women empowerment. We have seen how women in leadership roles specifically can prosper. I talk about one woman specifically a lot, which is Jacinda, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. New Zealand. But she leads with compassion. And I think that shows just how powerful women are. New Zealand is prosperous. They are so progressive. And I think a lot of credit goes to the acceptance that Jacinda has, the compassion and empathy. Women lead more with compassion naturally because of the nurturing aspects we have. So when you see a woman doing so well, I think we should feel nothing but empowered, especially as a woman to be one. We, we can take over the world. Who run the world? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> My next question to you is, um, equal work for equal pay. Well, it's, it's a legislation now in a lot of countries, and I agree with it 100%. You know, people have different potentials. People have different experiences, no matter their age, color, education background. And education is quite a big one in Thailand where you actually automatically tend to get paid more when you're on the same level as another person if you've had higher education. But I, I don't agree with that. I think a lot of things come with experience. People have different ways of learning and different ways of growing. So I'm a big, I'm a big believer in, in equal pay, equal rights. Terrific. And uh, to wrap this session, uh, to wrap this uh, portion, uh, transgenders in Miss Universe and Miss Universe Thailand, what are your thoughts? Absolutely. They are women. They're equally a woman as I am. So, break that barrier. If you're a transgender woman, you are a woman. And if your dream is to compete in the Miss Universe Thailand or Miss Universe stage, then go for it. Sure, thank you. So again, Anjali believes, Anjali rather, and believes that transgendered women, trans women are women. Thank you so much for, for saying that loud and clear.